hello students <coughs> sorry in the previous classes we have learned about the types of theolites the basic definitions of the theolites and what are the uses of the theolite in this uh, video lecture we are going to learn about the how to measure the horizontal angle and how to measure the vertical angle and also uh, the traversing and the problems which we face in the traversing uh, the errors of the theodolite and how to close uh, if the traverse is not closing in, in this video we uh, we discuss so the the measurement of horizontal angles we do have two types if you want to measure one is the the uh, reiteration method another is repetition method so suppose uh, if you want to if you have two points let us say station points a and station point b and you have set up your instrument station at both uh, this is the diagram so a and b points are the station points and o is the point where your instrument was installed now if you want to find out the angle uh, theta so if you want to find out the angle theta the whatever pressure i'm telling to you is you need to follow so first thing is you have to uh, set up your instrument station at o and uh, the all the temper adjustments are there temperature adjustments and says centering leveling and focusing so after the temperature adjustments are done uh, we the low uh, <coughs> the we have two lower clamp screws which we call lower clamp and upper clamp and to that we have lower tangent screws and upper tangent screws the relevant we have so first we clamp the lower clamp screw and then the upper clamp is loosened and by turning the telescope clockwise direction a is set to 0 and b is is set to 180 i uh, i must say this first the lower clamp is fixed yeah, we, we have to you know by heart it then by by making the practice of theolite operating theolite then we'll we'll get it easily so first the the we clamp the lower clamp screw right we tighten the lower clamp screw and then we loosen the upper clamp screw and we set the horizontal uh, vernier A to 0 and horizontal angle vernier B to 180. If you set A to 0, automatically the B will be 180. And with the help of the tangent, lower tangent screw, we set exactly uh, 0 of the horizontal main scale division to the 0 of vernier A division. Similarly, with the help of uh, uh, to that if you do that the uh, automatically the b set is also done so the zero of the vernier is will be the 180 uh, into the vernier b right and then we lose the then the upper clamp is tightened right until then the uh, lower clamp is fixed now we have losing the upper clamp screw the next is when you set a to zero b to 180 then the upper clamp is tightened right and the lower clamp is loosened and we cite to station A and we cite to station A accurately and we bisect it right so upper clamp is tightened after we set A to 0 B to 180 and then the lower clamp screw is loosened and when we cite to the station A after bisecting the station A exactly then we tighten the lower clamp screw right and with the help of the lower clamp tangent screw lower clamp tangent screw we exactly bisect station j right so now the lower clamp is tightened and we have cited to a uh, and for that a when the area is 0 b is 180 right so then we loosen the upper clamp screw then we loosen the upper clamp screw and then we rotate to station b and then upper clamp is tightened right with the help of the uh, tangent screw we exactly bisect the station b then we note down the readings at vernier a and vernier b and this process is repeat minimum of three times right so we'll 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 uh, if you uh, uh, subtract the initial reading from the final reading and you will get this uh, the angle between a and b and you have to repeat this face uh, three times with face left observation and from 
face rate observation 3 so you'll get the six values from six values you have to take the average value and that is the uh, angle of AOP right so we do have two methods where the reputation and reiteration methods are there the the difference between is very simple the, the process is same the upper clamp screw lower clamp is same so uh, the reputation method consists of calculating of an angle between two points with the instrument station so what we do is the the same number of angle we calculate again and again again and again with the same values right say for example if AOB is 35 degrees 20 minutes if AOB is 35 degrees is 20 minutes in the face left observation um, first observe uh, first reading then uh, face left observation second time reading from a, a, a o b again we'll get some value from a o b we'll get another value so the three times it is repeated so this is the, the we are repeating the angle and again whereas in uh, uh, see the table of form shows like this see, always a is set to zero a is set to zero a is set to zero these will be the readings and this process will repeat and again and again and the difference between these two uh, the final reading minus initial reading you will get some angle so this will be here and b difference will be here and average mean of these values will come here and average of this will come here whereas in reiteration it is not in that way if you just take a look of the table itself you can you can see <clears throat> the in table form what we do is it's totally different here the cumulative values will be the coming the the cumulative in the sense for example repetition is what it is shown here like this a a to o b a o b a o b a o b will be continuous doing doing same in the sense in repetition uh, for example we have here a uh, a b c let us say we have only a b let us say we have a b only we don't have this c point let us say then a is set uh, the instrument is set up at home then uh, we tighten the lower clamp screw then we loosen the upper clamp screw then we side to a uh, uh, loosen the upper clamp screw then we bisect uh, when near a0 when near b b180 right uh, then we loosen the upper clamp screw then we uh, side to a and when then we tighten it then we loosen the upper clamp screw to focus to station B, let us say this has 120 degrees, then from B to A we see, then from again A to B, from B to A, again A to B, B to A, again. So we'll rotate in a circular direction. The always your theory right will rotate 360 degrees. Whereas here your theory light will not move 360 degrees. It will move in in below let us say if a, if the position of a b that way it will be in that way it, it will not rotate 360 like this right whereas in reiteration method your telescope will rotate 360 degrees let us say if we have another point c then a to b then b to c then c to a like again a, a to b b to c c to a right if only a and b is there no there is no c from a to b B to A, A to B, B to A. So we do clockwise swinging with face left observation, and then with the face right observation, we do clockwise. So always we do a clockwise operation and reiteration. Here also we do clockwise only, but we are always setting A zero, and we are calculating to B. We here we are not setting A zero and calculating. Only for the first reading, we are setting A0 and we are calculating B. In the second time, we are setting B0 and calculating to A. So the this process, the the values are changing here, right? This is the basic difference between repetition and reiteration. Um, we need to calculate those values and then we have to take the average values, right? So measurement of uh, uh, the vertical angle is very simple. It's a very simple. Let us say we have a uh, uh, ranging rod or some staff kind of a thing where you have a staff reading A where you have a staff reading B some empirical value some some phantom values and this is your station point and you wanted to find out the angle A O C and B C uh, C O B and in, in now the instrument 
we have this uh, vertical circle when we have this vertical circle attached to it that vertical circle verniers are c and a not a and b only horizontal circles for horizontal circle we have uh, vernier a and b uh, whereas in vertical circle we have vernier c and d right so when you have vernier c and d uh, when you are uh, uh, setting the 0 0 to when if you have set c 0 then d will be 0 so it will be straight line so line of collimation if it is always straight line so if c to the uh, 0 then d will be also 0 so uh, this makes when you rotate the telescope when you transit the telescope immediately angles can be calculated so it is very simple right then in traversing the principle of traversing we will close within two minutes so i'll go through it so from the angles from the lens we calculate the latitudes of departures and the latitudes are calculated in this way right so if you have if your latitude is towards north then plus then south minus east plus west minus right then the uh, latitudes are always cosines and departure are always sines so if you if you have a line a b and if you know that line l and if you know the reduced bearing of that line reduced bearing you already knew what is a rigid pressure and it is a value taken uh, in between so reduced bearing is always a value taken from north or either south so north to east or north to west or south to east or southwest. So if you know the L survey line length and the reducer bearing, then the cosines of those values will give you latitude. The signs of those values will give the departure. And the signs will vary as as I said uh, in the previous video. In the in the previous. So <clears throat> and uh, if you if positive sign uh, cosines are there, then that is called as north things. And negative cosines are there, then it's called as south things. Similarly, if positive signs are there, it is called as east things. And if negative signs are there, then it's called as west things. Right? Then, um, see, the, the you, you can never expect the balance to be, uh, if the traverse to be closed, you, know, you always have some kind of error to it. So, the correction to any uh, line, we have three methods. One is Bowditch rule, another is transit rule, another is third rule. So we have some equations uh, and if you follow these equations uh, the 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 corrected values if you calculate the latitudes and departures it will be zero so initially you will get some error if you the the main thing is uh, summation of all latitudes shall be equal to zero and summation of all departures will be zero for any closed traverse that that's a condition summation of all latitudes and summation of all departures should be equal to zero if, if the, this is not happening then you have, can expect some kind of error to it in order to to uh, uh, to distribute the proportion of this uh, this error voltage rule whatever the error is happening it distributes the proportion of length of the traverse or the legs among all lengths that is about the voltage voltage rule the error is distributed among lengths whereas in transit rule the the lengths uh, the it is distributed to uh, corresponding latitudes and corresponding departures the third rule also we do the same thing but the north things and south things is done third rule and uh, the transit rule same we distribute the error to latitudes and departures uh, whereas in the boundary we will distribute the amount of error to the corresponding lengths not for the uh, lati uh, for the latitudes so hope you understood uh, this video uh, the for more details you can refer this uh, textbook thank you